How many of y'all remember the original Red Dawn? Not that remake, but the original Red Dawn. Do you remember how the attack started here in America in that movie? They jumped out of commercial airliners, right? Paratrooper groups, correct? Well now, the new Red Dawn that could be happening now here pretty soon is, Russia is talking about putting missile systems inside of Mexico. Yep, you heard that right. Russia is going to put missile systems inside of Mexico to help Mexico fight the U.S. Now, Mexico has stayed neutral in the Ukraine-Russia war, but it sounds like now they've picked sides. We've all been hearing about how Russia's off the coast of Florida, down around Cuba. You know, Cuba, Cuban Missile Crisis 2.0 is going on and things like that, right? But now, actually putting missile systems into Mexico, this could lead to something very bad unintentionally right or intentionally you you know could be either way we've talked before on here how nothing really happens without all the major players knowing before it happens i'm sure the usa knew before russia announced this that hey we're talking about putting missiles in there you know and there's probably some kind of little backdoor deal that's letting them do this type of stuff right, right? there's some kind of backdoor deal letting them be in cuba of course it's getting some americans fired up you know that hey russia's on our border a lot of this stuff goes on behind closed doors. They already make their deals, right? That sounds like normalcy. But the problem is, eventually one of these players in this big game here could refuse the deal. Well, if they refuse the deal, now Russia is close to attack us, right? If they're in Mexico, they could hit us. They could hit us all over the United States, right? Depending on what type of weapon system they put in. Now, of course, immediately most people's going to think, well, maybe they're going to put nukes in there. Possibly could. Have they already put nukes in Cuba? Is that why they're down there? Possibly. We don't know, right? When I say we, I'm talking about you and I. We only know what we get told. That's it. Now, Russia and Mexico here, are they becoming allies? Are we shaping up to World War II where everybody's picking their sides, right? I'm on that team. I'm on that team. You remember the axis and all that? That's what we're starting to look at here. Well, a lot of people will be like, they can't do that down in Mexico. They can't put, that's wrong. Well, there's really no difference in us helping a country like Ukraine out, right? And some of you are going to be like, what are you talking about? Russia told us, don't, don't send this here. Do not send tanks. Do not send F-16s. Do not cross this red line, right? Or it's going to be bad. We will retaliate. How many times have we crossed that red line and Russia stepped back and redrew the line? Redrawn it, right? Redrawn the line in the sand. Every time they do that, we step over it. Now, these F-16s we're sending, we're starting to hear that they're not going to be based in Ukraine, that they're going to fly out of NATO countries to do their missions. Well, Russia has clearly stated they will attack whatever bases these F-16s come out of. Now, it's a NATO country, right? It's NATO. If Russia attacks a NATO country, what does that cause? Could it, could it cause anything, right? At this point, the definition of war is not what we know as a war. We are in World War III right now. It's just not a kinetic war between us and someone else. It's all these little backdoor deals, you know, sending equipment, posturing, setting up your troops here and there, right? You, the hardest thing is to get your equipment and men into position to fight a war. Now, why would they need weapons in Mexico? Are they planning an invasion on the USA? Well, maybe not Russia. Maybe Mexico is planning on retaliating against the USA for something. And you're going to say, what are they going to retaliate for? That's the big question. See, I don't know. There's all these backdoor deals done, and eventually somebody's going to not agree with the deal. They'll agree with it, you know, on paper or talking to you, right? But once they get back and they're sitting there like, Eh, shoot the missiles, right? My grandpa, back during the Cuban Missile Crisis, he told me this story. He At that time, he, he worked at a sawmill, and, he, and at night, sometimes he would take loads of lumber or pallets down to Miami, Florida. And it was during the Cuban Missile, the height of it. And he said that his sister asked him, said, aren't you scared to go down there with all this going on? He said, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen whether I'm here or down there. He said, that I can't stop what's happening. My grandpa was a World War II vet. And that's kind of where I get a lot of my mindset from. Where We're not able to stop what's going on in the world. All we can do is see what's going on and react to it. 
That's it. You know, we we're we we have to react. We can't. None of us can stop what's going on in the world. It's just not possible. Now, I will admit, putting weapon systems in Mexico, that's getting a little close here, right? Now, are we going to see maybe some kind of false flag event? I told you, patriotism right now, and when I say patriotism, I mean stand behind the flag, everybody rah, rah, rah. You know, America's the greatest. We're doing good. We got one enemy, right? We don't have that right now. So you need to be watching out for some type of event to get us focused on one singular enemy or multiple, like maybe China, Russia, right? Multiple enemies. Hamas, you know? Because we've talked about the draft, you know, everybody's getting upset because now you're automatically going to be, you know, signed up for the draft if this gets passed in the law. Like something people keep forgetting that it hasn't went all the way through the steps yet to get signed in the law. That's not meaning it won't, but there's a lot of crap in that bill that a lot of people's not, they snuck all kind of stuff in on this bill. You know how they do it. The, the big headlines will grab something like the draft, the draft, but meanwhile down here, they're trying to pass crap in it, right? Could it get signed in the law? Yes. Is it going to affect us immediately? I don't know. <clears throat> I think the Marine Corps is the only ones who actually met their, their recruitment goals. The rest of them are down maybe as much as 20% on the recruitment. What do they know that we don't know, right? You know how we talk about everybody on here a lot of times gives you 24 hours, 72 hours, something's gonna happen. Maybe they know the date up in the higher ups, you know, that on this date that we're gonna to go to war. That could be possibly what they're doing. And they know they don't have enough troops to fight this. Now the question is, are we gonna be fighting on our own soil? Are we going to be invaded on our own soil? I doubt it. That doesn't mean it couldn't happen. There is, there, everything's possible, right? You, you have to look at it from this point of view. We're a long ways away from major powers to, to attack us with troops on the ground. We would see them coming. But sleeper cells, right? You get all these people into Mexico or South America coming up through Mexico, right? then you have a small army in the United States. Not a huge one, you know, I'm not saying it's going to be a million or two million men, but you have a small enough army that you can cause chaos inside the United States. Mass chaos, right? Guerrilla warfare. This isn't the old days where everybody lines up and you line up over there and I line up over here at 100 yards apart and we're going to shoot at each other, right? It's not them days. If you look back on how war has gone, the guerrilla warfare has become more the normal and what most people do, most countries do now, as far as our enemies. I mean, you can go back and read through history about that type of stuff, right? Could that happen? Yes, it very well could. Is that why Biden all of a sudden made a decision to do something about the border? Because they're realizing, hey, we're getting X amount of this in here. And then a few weeks later, Russia says they're going to put missiles inside of Mexico. See, all this stuff sounds like it's not happening together. I'm telling you, they know what's going on. We don't. We don't know. You know, if Russia puts missiles inside of Mexico that can hit the United States, right, and they actually use them, it's going to get bad. But I will tell you this much. Let's say they put missiles in Mexico, and let's just say, hypothetically, they fire the missiles and they hit somewhere in Texas, right? somewhere in California. The government is going to tell us everything's normal. This is going on in that area. Go on about your day as normal, right? We're, we've become, if it isn't physically affecting us right at that moment, if it is not hindering us from something, we pay attention to it, but we don't change our daily activities, right? We still go on about our day. And I'm afraid that's where we're at as a country. I'm afraid we're at a point now where a, an invading army could come into the country and start pushing across or up or whichever way they come and they would still be areas trying to go on about their day instead of hey we got to stop this right the red dawn stuff you know the civilians we got to stop this i think we're at a point now where that's not going to happen i really do you would probably even have people out there that was oh we don't need to fight them let them come in and get what they want the same thing we're seeing with the border right now right no, don't stop them. Let them come in. Let them come in. Do what they want. That's the mindset we're seeing all over America right now. 
I mean, is it is it a thing for you to set up at night and worry about that Russia's putting missiles in Mexico? Not yet. Not yet. Should you pay attention to it? Yeah, you better be paying attention to that. That, hey, if they're putting missile systems in Mexico, what's going on that we don't know about? And why are we starting to, why are we seeing all these drills for the past few years all over the United States and urban centers and things like that, right? Nothing just happens when it comes to this type of stuff. There are deals made and eventually somebody disagrees with the deal or they agree to it and they go back and do their own thing anyways, right? Russia keeps saying, do not do this, do not do that, do not do this over here. If you would get out of this, if you would quit supplying Ukraine, this war would be over in three months, or police action, whatever they're calling it over there, would be over in three months if the USA would quit giving Ukraine weapons and money. But of course, we're, we're going to keep doing it. And now Russia's showing that, hey, we're going to move stuff close to your border and see how you like it, right? Tit for tat type stuff. And that's what's going to stair step this in. Now the election coming up, right it's something major when i say major i'm talking worldwide war type event before the election i'm kind of thinking now that maybe that's the game plan here that something's going to break off like that it may not but it's really looking like it right it's really looking at it but as far as the election see everything's just turmoil right now so we're going to have to wait and see what happens here and like i told you we're not in a position where we can actually say no don't go do that we're in a position like, oh crap, they did something. Let's, we got to react to it. What do I need to do? We're coming up where you're going to have to make your own decisions about, about your safety, about your lifestyle or your life or whatever. And what I mean by that is, I mean, if missiles are being launched into Texas, right? If they, if they launch a missile into Texas, you need to make the decision of what you're going to do. Don't listen to them saying, oh, it's just in Texas. Go on about your day. You're going to have to make your own decision. Because it's looking like it's coming. Now, if Trump gets in there, I don't know what's going to happen. Is it going to escalate it or is it going to de-escalate it? One thing's for sure, if Biden carries the election again, it is definitely going to just keep going downhill and we will see something major quickly. Guys, let me know your thoughts on this. Keep your head on the swivel. Be aware of your surroundings at all times. Protect yourself and your family at all times. At that moment, you're the only person who can do it. Stay safe. Keep prepping. And yeah, Russia's putting missiles in Mexico. Hmm. <laughs>